Hi everyone, welcome back. The 100 days of the DevOps with AI tools, learning for journey. I have show you how completed the day nine agenda that is about process management. So one of the important uh, Linux activity for the DevOps engineers. So if you didn't complete it, yes, go ahead and review that. What are the main points that we need to look into from the process management? But in this video, we are going to discuss that the day 10 agenda that's about package and service management. Yeah, the before starting this agenda, so if you're following the learning path journey and if you feel this is very helpful, then please like, comment and share the video and to your to friends and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe for exciting content to receive the latest updates. Yeah, now let's go ahead to understand the day 10 agenda. Yeah, if you come back to this uh, about our Linux forum links, yes, all, yeah, we are continuing that's all these uh, activities and now we are in that, the day 10 agenda. So day 10, so that's help about it uh, to understand so what is the package and what about the service and how to manage that, the package and services. So one of the important activity for the DevOps engineer. So if you're going to, yes, working with that, uh, launching the systems uh, the, with the Terraform, uh, using that infrastructure as a code, or if you're going to use it that uh, Ansible, and there's one of the configuration management tool to manage that, uh, the packages and services. Yes, this concept is required for us. Yeah, so if you'd like to work with that shell scripting and as well as Ansible to manage that the packages and the services. Yes, this is the basic pillar which is required for us. So if you'd like to become that one of the best automation engineer, so on the DevOps side, using the configuration management tools like Ansible or Puppet, and as well as even the Terraform, if you're using about it and with the, yeah, the shell script to provision the systems. Yes, this is the one of the basic input that's required to understand it. Yes, let's go ahead. So like how we are having that this agenda. So from the resident chain, yes. So we have this on the package management, uh, the one video that is introduction about the package management. So yes, like, uh, uh, what exactly uh, the package management and understanding that, uh, I mean, the differences between um, the different distributions about the package management. So comparing with that, yes, the mobile app, how do we have that apps? The same thing, yes. So on the Red Hat or uh, uh, the ribbon based distributions, yes, how do we need the, the packages? In our mobile, we have the Play Store and App Stores, right? The same way, the package management is one of the important uh, the utility uh, the two main is that, yes, binaries and libraries of the packages. Yes, that city has been uh, the given that all the details and as well as, uh, yeah, how do we manage the, the packages and how do we search it or list it and some important points, install packages, how do we identify and the package based, how do we identify that, uh, the files, or if you have the file, file based, how do we identify the packages? Yeah, these are all the very, very important commands. It is not just uh, uh, m install and some uh, the package name. So not enough, yes. So if you're good on the, the Linux, then whenever we are working with that, um, there's configuration management tools like Ansible and Ansible modules with the task whenever we are working, that helps more. Yeah, so all the details about the package management, that you can find it here. And the comparing with that, the Red Hat and the Debian. Debian also it has been given that. So some important points because uh, so whenever we are provisioning the systems, it has to be dynamically handled that uh, the Red Hat based packages or Debian based packages. Yes, that city has been explained. And uh, next is yes, once packages have been installed, but some of the services, yes, like um, the middleware services, web services, database services, the service management is also very, very important concept. Yes, that is uh, uh, how to manage the services. So that complete uh, the different, uh, yeah, service uh, system CTL is that's one of the important utility. So I didn't think about it, uh, enabled, enabled uh, the services or disabled services. 
and if you'd like to yes uh, check the status of the services are starting stopping so all the data has been given the details so one complete lab will be having that and as well as not only that the practically to understand about the package and service management the apache service the detailed step by step that has been explained yeah so that is about you are going to learn it to in this today's uh, agenda so yes please go ahead and try to add it all these concepts and if you would like to become that the master on devops with the cloud yeah if you would like to uh, enroll to this course yes so this is the link i am going to share it the way uh, you will get it all these points whatever i am talking that yes um, the, we have this like uh, the pre recorded videos or online course so whatever you prefer it yes so this is uh, the number which is available which you can ping it in the chat window in the whatsapp yes the so way we will come back and we will help you on that the explaining about all these points yeah so that's all from this section so yes enjoy this like um, uh, set that agenda so for this uh, the data that is about package and service management thank you thank you all we'll see this in the next section